Hi, this is Shubham from Oni Studio, and today in this podcast, we're going to discuss about top five factors affecting value of options in a derivative market. Over here, we're going to discuss about stock price, exercise price, time of expiration, volatility, and interest rate. But before starting this podcast, if you want to read a full article about this, then the link of our article is provided in description. Also, if you want to watch a quick summary video of a less than 90 seconds, then subscribe to our YouTube channel, Oni Studio. Now, let's discuss what are these options. So options are a financial derivatives that give buyer the right but not the obligation to buy or sell an underlying asset at an agreed upon price at pre-decided date call options and put options form the basis of a wide range of option strategies designed for hedging or generating income or speculation although there are many opportunities to profit with options investor should carefully weigh the risk of this option also now let's discuss the top 5 factors affecting the value of these options in a derivative markets the first one is the stock price the value of a particular option depends upon the moment in the price of a stock rise in the stock price causes the increase in the premium of a call options while a decrease in the premium of a put option on the other hand if the price of an underlying falls the premium of a call option decreases while that of a put option increases consider a call option if you want to own an option that gives you right to buy the stock at rupees 50 when you would be ready to pay more premium when the stock trading at rupees 65 or 55 obviously the option over here is a 65 because in the first case you are benefited by rupees 15 only by exercising the option but in the second case the benefit is just rupees 5 surely you would pay more premium for the call if the stock is trading at rupees 65 then when it is a trading at 55 the higher the stock price the more call option is worth similarly on the lower side stock price the move a put option is worth if you want to have a higher sale stock of rupees 30 you would pay more for the put option when the stock is rupees 20 then it is at rupees 25 the lower the call of stock price the more put is worth the second key factor is exercise price of course you would always prefer the right to buy the stock at a lower price any day of the week thus call become more expensive as the strike price moves lower likewise put become more expensive in value as the strike price increases you would pay more for the right to buy the stock at rupees 60 then for the right to pay rupees 70 thus all increases in value as per the strike price moves lower and puts increases in a value as the strike price increases the third key factor for deriving the value of a option is a time of expiration ideally the more time the option has until expiration the higher its premium is the reason being the underlying has a more time to fluctuate the value time increases the chances that at some time the option will move in the money and become a profitable for the buyer and risky for the seller and hence seller will charge increase premium the option time value goes on declining as the option approaches to the expiration because of a time remaining goes on decreasing as well the fourth key factor for deciding the price of a option is the volatility of a stock price there is an increased price risk associated with a volatile market and hence the cost of getting insurance through option is also higher the same reason being the option is more likely to move in the money in a volatile market and become a profitable for the buyer seller who try to avoid a losses bear more risk in such kind of volatile market and hence require higher premium thus it is possible that the 3 months option premium is higher in volatile markets as compared to the 5 months of a stable market the fifth key important factor is the interest rate when interest rate increases the call option price increases while the put option price decreases let's look at the logic behind this let's say you are interested in buying a stock which sells at rupees at 10 per share you buy 1000 shares at rupees 10 each with a total investment of rupees 10000 instead of directly buying the stock you could also have purchased a call option selling for only rupees 1 making the total investment of rupees 1 into 1000 that is rupees 1000 if you choose to buy the call option instead of underlying stock directly you would have used remaining rupees 9000 to 
upon some interest the higher the interest rate the higher your interest income would be this makes the call option more attractive and expensive or put option the opposite holds true that is the higher the interest rate the lower the put option price this is because if interest rates are higher you will have to hold the asset for a longer period of time to deliver it under the put option similarly selling the asset and using the proceeds to invest at a higher rate would be a better option this makes the put option less attractive and hence less cost when the interest rates are high now let's discuss what are the bottom line over here options are financial derivatives which are dynamic in nature which are normally derived value based on stock price expiry time period volatility and interest rate all these key factors are responsible for the movement in option price and if you want to trade in derivative markets you should trade with your own risk appetite if you want to read the full article about this then the link of our article is provided in description also if you want to watch a quick summary video of less than 90 seconds then subscribe to our youtube channel monist thank you guys for joining with us for this podcast over here shubham from monist signing off Thank you.